In this video, I'm going to share with you the six Google ranking signals you should know to boost your website ranking. Keep watching. Hey, what's up, marketers? I'm Edward Ziak from B2BDigitalMarketers.com, the place where you can learn how to level up your digital marketing effectively without spending money on marketing agencies. And in today's video, we are going to talk about one of the most important Google ranking signals that are influencing your website traffic and the reason why you cannot rank high in the search results. So if you find this video valuable, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave a comment below to help me with the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, let's get started. Obviously, the first ranking factor I have to mention is Core Web Vitals. That Google started rolling out in the middle of 2020 and planning to go live in May 2021. But we will see, as due to COVID-19, it has been already postponed once. Core Web Vitals are a new set of metrics or page experience ranking signals that Google introduced to improve user experience by websites following ranking signals such as mobile friendliness, page speed load, safe browsing, HTTPS security, or intrusive interstitial guidelines. Web Vitals are initiatives by Google to provide unified guidance to website owners for quality signals that are essential to delivering a great and safe user experience on the web. And at this moment, metrics that make up core Web Vitals are free. The first one is Largest Contentful Pane, or LCP. This is a metric that measures how long it takes for your website to completely display and ready to interact with the largest content above the fold. The second is First Input Delay, or FID. This is a metric that measures how quickly your website responds when your users clicks or taps on something. And the third one and last Cumulative Layout Shift or CLS is a metric that calculates how the layout of your website shift and move during the loading. So these make up the core web vitals. However, this set of page experience metrics are not final, as according to Google, we should expect web vitals will be evolving over time and future improvements and additions will be added to furthermore improve user experience. And of course, Google will provide a prior notice and a predictable annual cadence for webmasters to prepare their websites for future Core Web Vitals updates. Thus, we can expect that Google will definitely put high weight on Core Web Vitals page experience signals that will affect your ranking or even being penalized if you are not following Web Vitals recommendations. The second ranking factor that you should know and optimize your website around is focusing on keywords and latent semantic keywords targeting. Doing your keyword research has a high impact on driving new organic traffic according to 51% of surveyed marketers. And the first part is obvious for most of us and that is you should be targeting the right keywords to attract the right target audience and certainly you should not try to target all keywords but first only those that drive leads and sales mainly. And to find such keywords, you can use a SEO tool like SE Ranking that will show you the exact keywords your competitors are bidding on, as those are the golden keywords that make them money. Also, you can use Google Keyword Planner and find keywords that have a high price for top of page bids and high average traffic. But on top of the targeting, the right keywords, you should be also focusing on latent semantic keywords that help Google to better understand what your content is about and helps you and your readers to provide more comprehensive content as that is what Google is looking for. Using latent semantic keywords is the way how you should start thinking about creating content as you cannot just simply focus on one keyword or phrase, but rather the topic itself and what information people are searching for. Because in the recent Google research paper, they explained how Google analyzed words frequently occurring together to understand the content main topic and user intent. 
Thus, from these metrics, we can conclude that LSI keywords are important for SEO and using them correctly brings benefit for both SEO and user experience as LSI keywords helps to prevent from being a spam, helps to rank for more accurate terms, increase the value of the content, and rank better for related searches. To summarize it, targeting the right keywords helps you to find the right topics for your website, attract your target audience, and increase your organic traffic, while LSI keywords help optimize for the topic, not just the phrase, and provide more in-depth and relevant content that searches are looking for. Because remember that Google is searching for relevancy by understanding the user intent and the true meaning of the phrase. Thus, you need to level up your SEO game and go beyond the phrase and optimize your content around the context and search intent. If you have been in SEO for some time, you know that backlinks are arguably one of the most important parts of improving site ranking and driving more organic traffic to your website. And while Google is trying to prevent some of the blackhead SEO practices to increase page rank by using link schemes that include buying and selling links to pass link juice, a large scale article marketing or guest posting campaign, a link for link type of trade, or requiring links as a terms of services and other strategies to increase page rank by getting more links in not natural way because that is not what Google is searching for. Because Google wants backlinks to happen naturally and as said by Google, if other prominent websites link to the page what is known as a page rank, that has proven to be a good sign that the information is well trusted. This means that backlinks are still very important, but we can expect that Google does take some precautions to recognize spam and link schemes, which can result in penalties or removing the site from search. However, this doesn't mean you shouldn't take any action, but you should do link building strategies to increase your domain trust and start increasing your site ranking. Just make sure you follow the best link building practices and do everything by the book. Google is getting smarter with its algorithm to provide the most relevant and accurate information. To do that, they need to recognize user intent by inspecting the connections between all words of a search term, also known as a keyword. This helps Google understand the semantic meaning, the context, and the user intent of a search query, which is called the semantic search. However, Due to a diversity of language, many queries are having multiple search intent. For example, just the word fall or apple can have multiple different meanings. And that is the reason why using LSI keywords is important. This is the way how search engines can better understand your article and search intents as already mentioned. So how does multi-intent search queries tie to the ranking signals? Google wants to provide more comprehensive results to even the most intrigued topics, as an example given by Google. Ears popping on a plane. We might be looking for the cause or for the remedies. Because sometimes the words we are using are broader and there could be numerous meaning of that, especially in cases we are learning about the topic. Therefore, Google has introduced multi-faced feature snippets also known as a people also ask feature snippet. This feature snippet has a great potential for you to rank for high competitive keywords and drive extra organic traffic, especially for broader search terms and difficult keywords to rank for. Because you might not necessarily rank in the top for a search term like SEO or SEO tools, but you still have a chance to drive organic traffic with these highly competitive keywords. By optimizing your content around broader search terms that come with people also ask, you can start driving organic traffic from these keywords as your website can appear within the suggestions. And like this, you can massively increase your organic traffic and start ranking even for the most difficult keyword by optimizing for multiple intent search queries.
Just simply use a broad keyword within your niche and go one by one, people also ask. And then create content to answer the questions that are related to your keyword. This strategy also helps to increase the search authority of your website as you can provide more relevant content which creates more signals and helps search engines better understand your website and your targeted niche. And like this, you can build your authority and later even rank for those highly competitive keywords. Another Google ranking signal that you should know and optimize for is the freshness of your content and your website. So does that mean updating more often to always have fresh content? Before I dive in, you should a bit understand what is fresh content? Basically, fresh content is any content that has been recently published or updated to ensure users are getting the latest information. Of course, there are some exceptions like historical articles that the information tends to stay the same and rarely being updated. But I assume most of your articles are information types that should provide the latest research, information, data, and statistics to deliver the most and relevant value to readers. Therefore, ensuring your content is always fresh and updated is a big part of SEO and content marketing strategy, as you should regularly do historical optimization of your old pages and old blog posts. Because Google is always trying to give you fresher, more recent search results, and Google does use freshness algorithm designed to give you the most up-to-date results. Also, according to Botify, they have found in plenty of instances where updating content correlate with more keywords ranking and higher ranking positions. They also found instances where changing the content actually correlate with worse rankings. Thus, updating and publishing new content is not always about improving your site rankings as you must always make data-driven decisions based on your SEO KPIs and website data. I recommend do historical optimization of pages and articles older than 12 months. Focus on those that used to drove a lot of traffic to your website and all leads for your business because these old pages and articles tend to drive it again. The last from our list of Google ranking signals that you should know to improve your ranking is the protection of your website because Google wants to provide a safe experience. Therefore, Google examines billions of URLs and software and content on those pages in its search for unsafe websites. They look for sites that contain malicious software or phishing sites to steal sensitive details but also they look on the vulnerable sites that are an easy target for hackers to steal user information. This is probably one of the most important ranking signals that your website is influenced. Because if you do not provide a safe experience to your users, Google can totally remove your site from search or in like cases, warn users that your website is not safe. Trust me, being hacked sucks because your ranking will drop, advertising will stop, you lose organic traffic and everything with it, and it can take pretty long to recover from a hack website. Google reports that it can take up to 90 days for website owners to clean up their websites from an attack. Therefore, you should always ensure that you provide a secure experience that Google and other search engines require from websites. Using HTTPS to provide a safe browsing experience to your users is essential for your website. However, I also recommend using some of the security tools as well. Otherwise, you might not even appear in the search results. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and ask me any question in the comments about ranking factors and I'll do my best to answer it. By the way, check out all my links in the description for my favorite SEO and other marketing tools that help me to deliver great results. Ciao.